Hey guys, it's just Dane, and I wanted to do an updated island tour. My island is officially five stars, and I have over 600 hours in this game. I know, oh my goodness, I'm not proud, but I'm also proud because I've done a lot of my island. I'm also accidentally in the Southern Hemisphere, for those of you who are wondering why it looks like an icy tundra. It's also dark. I planned on recording this earlier so that you guys could have a nice sunny day. Maybe I'll do a quick run through tomorrow when the sun is up so you guys can see what it looks like in the daytime. But this is my island and it is currently winter on the uh, southern hemisphere. So let's first start our tour from the airport. If you do arrive to my island, you will be greeted here. And when you exit the wonderful airport, you'll be greeted here with the entryway that is made of ice. And first, I'm gonna show you guys my map so you guys can see what we're working with. This is my house. This is my second house. I made it for my dog so that I could use it for storage. These are my villagers, Francine, Meringue, Rolf, Bella, Lucky, Raymond. We did a 10 hour stream to get Raymond. That's a whole nother story. We have Knox, kid, it's actually his birthday today. Aurora and Adi, and again, Maddie. So here's my map, here's how everything is laid out. We will slowly but surely get to everything. So what I really wanted for this island was I wanted to be able to go directly from the airport all the way to my house. And that is what we've achieved <laughs> with this current layout. So I can go all the way up here to my house. Here's mine. And here is Maddie's house. So we have a couple of different options here. So we have two areas that are housing developments, which is this one. And then we have, like you saw on my map, that is on the other side. So we have some houses over here. This is Raymond's house. And there's multiple ways to get to each one of these little areas. So this will take you back down here, but we're gonna go back to the airport so that I can show you how we get around the island. So back to the airport, it'll take us all the way down here. Oh, I gotta get that, I gotta catch that, I gotta catch that. And it has gone away. So back down to the airport and we will go like we've just entered and we're gonna go over here to the left. So this is my plaza area, which is um, pretty cool because I have a little arcade here. Behind the arcade is where we have our little, I never know exactly what to call this. What do they call this, the residence center? I call it the courthouse just because that just seems like what it should be called. It's we're going to the courthouse. I need to check in here. I actually didn't do this yet today. So from the courthouse, we'll go over here. This is our museum. We've got a nice little T-Rex here. A museum uh, here. Got some cherry trees. But the snow just looks so beautiful. And with the moonlight reflecting off of it, pretty romantic, I must say. Got some amber here. Now this will take us back here to the beach. I was going to make this into a little stage area, but I think I'm gonna just kind of make it into a little picnic area. Nothing too crazy happening on the beach, but the boardwalk will kind of lead us back here. And then this boardwalk area will take us to this nice little bar area. When I see a butterfly, I just have to catch it. I just can't help it. This will take us over to our shop area. So we've got Nook's Cranny and we've got our Able sisters here. This is a little area that I've just been using to <laughs> kind of hoard my snowmen. I love their dialogue so much. Also got the little briefcase full of money. Full of what? Money. This is also another little area that will take you down to the beach. And I have put a lot of effort into making sure that my entire island, you can get to places very quickly. You'll notice also that there's no paths because these are custom paths. But right here, this will lead us all the way to the housing area development. So my house and Maddie's house is here, but this area will take you back here, and this will take you into my little flower area. So this is all black and gold roses that have been bred. Before, when I was obsessed with breeding flowers, they were all here, and I took better care of them, but now, not so much. This is sort of a progress of making a blue rose, but I kind of gave up. So this will all be saved later for farming. So while we're up here in the flower area, this is where red sometimes resides. Like what, once every five months at this point? Come on, red, we need you. This will take us down to the beach and the beach will wrap around here to our second area of villagers. This is Knox, he's a murderer, so we've given him a lot of murderous items. We've got a casket. We've got this nice barrel for him to, to boil bodies. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. I didn't make it up. He has caskets in 
his house. Oh my gosh, look at the aurora. It's beautiful. And the moon over there is just looking fantastic. And there's also a little bottle here. Give me that. I'll take you to... Okay, you're gone. What a beautiful evening. I'm so glad that we could be here to celebrate this wonderful day together. <laughs> so this little area is another little village spot. And that brings us back here where we walked all the way up to the flowers. So we're gonna go back down here because there is a little section that I did not show you. So I've been live streaming on Twitch recently and Mike Shinoda has also been live streaming and he's usually streaming right after I'm done streaming. So we have been raiding his channel and I jokingly said that we should try to get Mike Shinoda to come to my island. So this is what we've been working on for Mike. We have been trying to make him a nice little area. So maybe he would wanna come perform a KK Slider song, but it is coming together very, very nicely. Like I'm obsessed with how great this looks. This is really the reason why I wanted to show you guys this at night because the stage looks even better. It looks cool during the day, but like, I mean this with the Aurora, I mean, that's just the Northern lights, even though I'm in the Southern hemisphere, geography, it's something. It's something that I should have paid attention to when I started this game and not chosen the Southern Hemisphere. But either way, it's cool. And I just love the winter. It's so fun. I just wish that I did have summer so that I could have summer during my summer, but it's okay. I've still been enjoying it. So either way, I'm looking forward to hopefully one day getting to show this to Mike Shinoda. I think he will enjoy it or not. Either way, we made it, we made it live on stream. So a lot of you guys have helped make that. Like I was saying before, this takes you all the way up to the flower area, but this is where my campsite is. Got another snowman there. So here's the campsite. We've got all of the fall leaves because I have also had fall already. And this will take you over here. So this takes you sort of back to the beginning. So everything is very, very well connected. So that's from the airport takes you up here so you have the option of going this way to the campsite and going to the villager area which is over here or you can take a little look at the things that I kind of have here we've got this cute little coffee shop area I should probably put maybe a coffee or something right there but it's nice and cozy because we have a little fireplace and we've got some little fire here so you can stay warm in the winter chill Adi's not even, she doesn't even care. She's like, I'm sitting in the snow with my donut by the fire. Hi. Oh, I, oh, I forgot. I told her. She asked, what, I don't, I, uh, yep. Yep. I have nothing to say. I'm speechless. Hi, I lost my voice. I was trying to be a heavy metal singer instead of a pop star. I'm so not metal. How funny. She's incredible. I love her as a character. This is my little space section. So we've got, oh, look how cool that looks. I need to take a picture. That's amazing. How amazing does that look? I can't even believe it. <gasps> wow. So the space area, got a little cafe. I mean, this is so pretty. You guys, look at this. I can't even get over it. Oh, I've also got a little snowman hat on. Like I am fully embracing everything right now. Okay, we're gonna go back up here and this is gonna take you over here, which will take you directly to the beach area, which will then in turn take you up here, which you, I showed you guys before. That'll take you up to more of the villages. And this is a little cafe by the beach. You guys can lounge here. I mean, this is so beautiful. I just can't get over it. You can make yourself a little coffee. Have it, little tarot cards read, whatever you want. It's all here, we have it all here. My island name is also called Pro Max. My island flag is the iPhone Pro Max camera. I know. This is a little secret way to get to Bella's house. She likes heavy metal. So I put some, some stuff there, she likes skulls. She's super cool. Let's see, I know there was something else that I wanted to show you. If we go all the way over here, Passed by the other villagers. We've got a little water fountain here with some money trees. I also want to note that I've not time traveled. Like this is all just Justine spending way too much time playing this game. These are all of the flowers that I've bred. 
I put them here originally because this was all sort of under construction. I just wanted to have a place to put the flowers so that I could find somewhere to put them later. And I still haven't found anywhere to put them. So that's currently where they are. This beach, nothing crazy is happening. I've got a little musical area here if you feel like playing the ukulele. Uh, we've got all the car beds. I think I might be missing one, but either way, they're here. <laughs> and did you know you could do this? Well, now you do. My little pier is over here as well. Nothing too crazy, you know. It's just, you know, a few hours of time that I've spent playing. I'm very much so looking forward to the summer update, which is coming very shortly. We'll be able to swim and dive in the ocean. I can't freaking wait. I'd also like to show you guys my house. I mean, we might as well just, we might as well just go for it. I'll show you the house. I'll show you Maddie's house. Incredible. I don't think I've changed it that much since you guys maybe have seen my last video. I'm not really sure, but here it is. We've got a nice little TV there. We've got some stuff, you know? It's, it's, it's a nice blue and pink theme. I really like that pink carpet. This is my pink room. This is one of the rooms I think that really helped me get a gold trophy for my room. Now all of these posters, some of my friends have given me during my live streams on Twitch. Oh man, we've had some really good times. But this is fun because when you're looking to try to up your Happy Home Academy score, you do wanna have all of the matching stuff. So I have a lot of the cute matching and everything is pink and it looks, it looks really good. Like I'm a huge fan. I love this room so much. It's probably one of my favorite rooms. Now we're gonna move on to this other room. This is gonna be the gym. I made this very early on in quarantine when all the gyms closed down. And I was like, man, wouldn't it be great to have this gym? Look at this. We have the cloud flooring. So it kind of gives it that steamy little look. We've got a nice shower. This has probably been running for over a month. I, I probably should turn that off. So that's, that's our little bathroom. We've got all of the weight equipment here and I have some of the awards like from the, the, the museum hunt and from the Happy Home Academy originally all hung up just, you know, to make it look like sporty. Now I'm gonna take you guys into a new room since this is the winter season. I decided to make a room dedicated all to the frozen items. And I think that I have all of the frozen DIYs. We made this on my live stream this morning, actually. I thought we'd have a TV, some popsicles. I used the bar as a place to put the computer. I didn't really know if that was the best idea, but I, I did it anyway. I'll have a nice little siesta. I put a fire, just, I thought you might be cold. It's icy. I'm gonna take you guys upstairs which is my shooting room. So this is my studio. I was gonna shoot an unboxing, but I still never did it yet. I think I eventually will do it. I mean, at this point, the game has been out for a while. This used to look a lot cooler. I used to have all of the servers in the back here, but I had to use them all for the Mike Shinoda set. And I just ordered another light to go over here. I feel like I need to order another TV. I might order another television and put it next to the black one and swap the black one out and put the black one downstairs. And then the red one I might put somewhere else as well. But these are my trophies from the Happy Home Academy and also the bug off that we had. I didn't have the bug off on my island because I'm on the Southern Hemisphere, but I had to go to Jenna's Island. So we streamed, I think for like four and a half hours, maybe longer. It was a long time but we got all the trophies. The downstairs is kind of like my kitchen lounge area. I knew that I wanted to make a really cool kitchen area with all the ironwood DIYs after I got them all. And then finally I did. And that's sort of what this room is all about. It's a nice look. It also looks really cute without the lights on too. It's vibey. It's a vibe, if you will. <laughs> I love those hanging lights. You can also customize those. I customize them to be white. Let's turn the lights back on. Got the Van Gogh over there. I actually got two of those, so I was still able to give one to the museum. That's this area. Now, I think that's all my rooms. That was all of my rooms. Now I'll show you Maddie's house. His is sort of, I mean, we'll show it to you. It's very basic. I think I only have one room finished in his house. I wanted to do a theme of all of the Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, 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 a tarantula. Are you kidding me? Is this happening right now? I can't believe it. I have not seen a tarantula in a very long time. 
This is a gift. We are being given a gift right now, guys. Uh, oh. I can't believe I just got a tarantula. What a day! The situation just got hairy. I can't believe it. Well, that scared me. That actually, oh, my net's gone. Do you think it's because he knew that I had my bug bag that I was on the hunt for him? Possibly. <gasps> I love this dog house too. Check this out. So cute. We're gonna go into Maddie's house. So originally on stream, I wanted to turn this into an Apple store, but it, it uh, well, mm, yeah, this happened. <laughs> we never finished it. It's kind of like a Radio Shack at this point. Like no offense, Radio Shack, but. It's definitely not an Apple store. This is the only room that I do have done. I wanted to make like a little, I guess a, an antique room because I kept buying antique furniture and I don't really like the antique furniture. Why won't my light turn on? If I mess something up, do I not have it? Oh, it's because it's not my house. I can't turn the light on because it's not my house. So this is his antique room. It was his birthday on the 17th of June. So he's got all of his little birthday things, his little birthday cake and a little cupcake that he got at his party. That's actually six cupcakes, it's a stack. It, also looks nice with the lights on, and but I can't turn them on because it's not my house. I mean, it is my house, but it's not my house. So that's it. That's pretty much my whole tour of my island and my houses. He has nothing upstairs. It's a completely empty room. The other two rooms are also completely empty, but I basically just use his character as a storage character. So that's it. You know, this area also comes down here. We've got some money trees up there. Probably get that. I can't believe we just caught a tarantula. Oh, a fossil? Really? Hmm, what, what do I need that for? I don't because I have completed my fossil inventory. What, what do you think this is? An orange rug. It's really boring. So that, my friends, is my island. This is what I've been working on over the past several months during quarantine. I've also been having so much fun doing live streams. I've been doing them not every morning, but a lot of mornings. Just hanging out with you guys over on Twitch if you wanna check it out. I'll probably do a live stream here as well. I can probably dual stream. I'll try to figure it out and see if I can watch both chats at the same time while we play. We've been having a lot of fun and I hope to see you guys over there. If you guys are new here, I do a lot of videos about tech, not necessarily all about Animal Crossing, but I love video games, I love tech, and I just love making videos, really. So, welcome if you're new. Hello, welcome back if you're not, and I will see you guys in my next video. And if you guys love Animal Crossing, look forward to that summer update. I hope I'll even get the summer update because it's not summer. I guess we'll find out. All right, I'll see you guys. Okay, I'm done, for real. We're done now. I'll see you later, bye.